So you found out you have kidney disease. You're probably really worried, a bit scared, and very confused. And chances are your doctor gave you very limited information. And they probably told you your future consists of either dialysis, a transplant, or death. Well, I am here to call bullshit on that. And there is a fourth option. You can fight kidney disease and you can beat it. I did it and I'm going to show you how coming right up. Chronic kidney disease, or CKD, is scary, but you're not alone. You may be shocked to find out that 10% of Americans have kidney disease. And what's even more scary, only 1 in 10 of those that have it know it. So in a way, you're lucky that you know you have it. Why are you lucky? Because now you can do something to fight back. You can slow down the progression of your kidney disease and in some cases, even reverse it. First of all, I'm not a doctor. There is no cure. I'm just a guy that like you was shocked to learn that I had it. And I was told you need to start dialysis now. It is time. And I, I looked online, I did some research and I saw there is hope. So I, I made a deal with my doctor and I said, give me two months to at least get myself better. Now, part of that was because I was in denial. I didn't think I had kidney disease. They were wrong. Something was off on the test. Maybe some mucinex or something I took for a cough that I was fighting, you know, put me the, the test, you know, say that I had kidney disease. I was in denial, but no, I have it now. Over those nine weeks following my diagnosis, I read so many books. I purchased every book I could. You can't go down to Barnes and Nobles and find them. You got to go online. And down below are some links to some of my favorite books that really did help. And I then started emailing and making phone calls to researchers and doctors all around the world. There is some amazing stuff happening in the UK, Japan, Korea, Australia, Canada. Don't just limit your resources to what's happening in the US. And I spoke to researchers, I spoke to doctors, and I worked with my doctor. I have a really good doctor here, my primary care physician, and we developed a strategy. And over the first four weeks, we had to tweak my, my medications, my blood pressure medications to make sure I had, I was taking meds that were compatible with my kidney, more kidney friendly. And I was able to, in a total of nine weeks from the time I was diagnosed, over double my kidney function. Yes, my GFR. I went from needing dialysis now, stage five, to borderline stage 3b i was a great just barely in stage four and that changed my life that meant i had energy that meant i felt good that meant i could do almost anything i wanted to you know the only restriction was what went in my body and you know, i couldn't eat like i used to but it made life great it took away so much worry and so much fear of the future I was no longer worrying, what happens if I'm too weak and too tired to work? Who's going to pay the mortgage, the car insurance, the car bills, all that stuff? What does my future hold? What about my family, my kids? But nah, today, not a problem. <whistles> Worry-free, and I look forward to continuing to get better and better and better. And my personal goal, stage two by the end of this year. And I feel confident I can do it. Now, because there is no cure, it's going to take effort on your part. You need to see this as a life altering event. You have to make changes. You cannot continue to live life the way you used to live it. Whatever you eat is now either medicine to help you or poison to hurt you. You wouldn't let a kid with diabetes eat cotton candy, would you? No. 
You need to think of that the same way for yourself, what you put in your body. Now, there is no one trick, one diet that works for everybody. And I'm going to explain why it's all unique, but it's easy. I have eight steps that if you follow, it will greatly slow down the progression of your kidney disease. And there's a very, very good chance. I mean, a great chance you can reverse it and live a great, pretty much normal life. <laughs> it is not going to be going out to McDonald's and ordering two Big Macs when they're on sale and eating those down with a bunch of fries and a shake. <laughs> so what are the eight steps? Here they are. Step one, you need a great doctor. And what is a great doctor? That is one who listens, has great communication, will tell you stuff and be honest with you. They are also up on what's happening. They're not stuck with something they learned 30 years ago in med school based on a book that was written 10 or 20 years before that. So much has happened since the 90s. And every year, so much more happens. They can't rely on their old knowledge and what they were trained. They need to be someone who takes the effort to continue to teach themselves about alternative ways to fight kidney disease. Not just settling for the three options, dialysis, transplant, and death. Step two, you need to control your blood pressure and diabetes. Now, if you don't have diabetes, congratulations. One less thing to worry about. Diabetes is the number one cause of kidney disease. 44% of all new cases are caused by diabetes. Blood pressure causes almost one third of the new cases of kidney disease. So work with your doctor, find kidney friendly meds and get your blood pressure under control. 130 over 80 is a great target. Don't settle until you're there. Number three, and this is probably the single most important one. You need to monitor your blood work. And by that, I mean that every time you get your blood work done to see how you're doing, how your kidneys are functioning, you get a copy. You take that copy home, you save it, you, you put it in Excel to track what you're doing and where you're going. Each of your blood tests is your new guide on what you need to do. And it's going to tell you how to modify your diet. And that's step four. Modify your diet. Now, the four main things you need to look for when you're in your diet is your protein, your sodium, your potassium, and your phosphorus. Now, you still need to monitor your sugar and everything else. But those four right there are the most important ones and the easiest ones for you to directly control. Now, if you're too low on some of those, you know, I was way, way too low on potassium. Increase your potassium until you get to your next blood test and you get your new results and you see where you're at. If you are too high, reduce whatever you're too high in. When you get your blood test, it'll tell you what the normal range is for everything. Whatever you're too low in, add to your diet. Whatever you're too high in, reduce. Now, protein is a challenging one. We love eating lots of protein, most people do. Uh, especially me. I, I love a great steak. Oh, or some chicken. Mmm, incredible. But animal protein is harder for your kidney to digest. So you may want to look at adding more plant-based protein. Go shop in the vegan section. There's some great food out there, some great options. It tastes just like regular, you know, chicken, but it's, it's made of other stuff. It's not made of soy. And that is so much easier for your kidneys to digest. And it puts less stress on them. And really that's what you're doing. You're putting less stress on your kidneys so they have time to heal. They have time to get better. They have time to handle the food you have and not create so much waste that's left in your blood system that makes you sick. Number five, be aware of available supplements. You don't have to stick with just prescription medicine and there's not much available when it comes to prescriptions. 
most doctors, if they catch you really early, they may try some things to help. But once you get to stage two, three, four, you know, and four, they, uh, there's, there's not much they do. They're just waiting for stage five so they can pop you on dialysis. And, you know, it's profitable. They make a lot of money getting you on dialysis. But be aware what supplements are out there. There are a lot of them. Those, you know, managed by diet and adding supplements and using alternative supplements like for painkillers instead of taking you know Tylenol or you, you can't take uh, Advil or ibuprofen or anything like that. that that's completely off the table now um, but there are alternatives you can take number six be active now you don't need to get up and run to the gym you don't need to be running five miles every day or anything like that Get up and walk. Walk around the house. Walk around the block. Go shopping and walk. Now, don't push a cart, you know. Just walk. Walk walk around, shop, look. Have a good time. Aim for, you know, start out with trying to get 5,000 steps a day. Use your, your Apple Watch or some kind of step counter you may have and monitor your steps. And then once you get there, work up to 6,000 a day. Um, 8,000 and eventually... My personal goal, and I think it is the the perfect spot to be where you really start becoming super healthy and doing good things in your body without a lot of stress, is 10,000 steps a day. That's walking about five miles, and it, once you build up to it, it gets really easy. But be active for 30 minutes a day so your heart rate's up a little bit. Now, don't be lifting weights. Don't be doing high-intensity training. Those all are tough on your kidneys. We're trying to take it easy. We're trying to give them a rest. Number seven, and this will almost happen automatically as you watch the food you eat and you're active for a little bit, you know, 30 minutes a day and stuff like that, is lose weight. If you are obese, which I was obese, I'm probably still classified as obese technically, you need to lose weight. Three reasons. First of all, obesity and heart disease are major factors in kidney failure. Also, if you do get to the point where you need a transplant, most places require a BMI of 35 or less. So go ahead now, work on it, get it down. If something happens and you need a transplant, you don't want your weight to be the reason that you cannot get a transplant. Number eight, the very last step, manage stress. When you're worried, when you you know are upset or your work is just too much, that puts stress on your body, which puts stress on your kidneys. Find things you like. You know, walking is great. Pop on some headphones, listen to some great music. I love listening to country music. I love you know playing with the kids, going out and doing things, playing with the dogs. Find ways to relax. Don't let life get you down. You can handle it. But those eight things right there, that's what I've done. And it has continually improved my kidney function with every single doctor visit. And my nephrologist, she's shocked. She's surprised that I was able to go from needing dialysis now. I mean, I was at 13% and falling. For my GFR, I was in ICU for a week. And I said, no, give me some time. There's got to be a fourth option. I, I don't accept the three options you gave me. And I found all sorts of information on the internet. And I did it, and you can too. Now, I have something to ask of you. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you'll be notified every time I upload more videos. I'm going to share every single thing about what I am doing, what's working, as well as what doesn't work and what you should avoid. I also have a website, www.dadvice.tv. I've got my labs up there. I've got blood work up there. I've got my meds, the supplements that I use with links to, to get them if you want them. Um, I recommend you, you you read what supplements I take and why. I wrote what I take them for 
and pick the ones that work for you. Talk to your doctor. See what they recommend. If your doctor says, you know, stay away from supplements, just, you know, keep living life and one day you know, we'll get you on dialysis, wrong doctor, change. Find one that says, yes, these supplements, you should be taking them. You can do better. And one last thing. If you know someone who has kidney disease, share my website, share my videos with them. Let it inspire them. You don't have to settle for the three options. There is a fourth. You can fight back and you can beat kidney disease. Thanks for watching.